happened was the moment to say, well, now let us change the world. Now let us have a new paradigm, a new beginning. die for unless we change the equation to early childhood education. Whatever experiences we gain in trying to heal our wounds, we are willing to share with the rest of the world. Thank you. On behalf of uh, His Excellency Nasser President Nasser, he's not here, he's in Doha, but really uh, I am his special employee. When I meet children, they usually define their life by one single word, and the word is fear. And that's not the word, the world we want for children. And it was a UNICEF person who said to me in northern Uganda, pay attention to these kids. They can't speak, but you can hear what they're saying. So we would like to have more women at the table of negotiation. And we would like to have also the voice of the children heard. Yeah, thank you. We want to join forces with the international community to advance global and national efforts to prevent violence, laying the foundation of a sustained peace through the transformative power of early childhood development. Breaking walls with others, between countries, between races and ethnicism is important. But at the same time, breaking walls within ourselves is much more important. Mm -hmm. Breaking walls of prejudice, breaking walls of discrimination, breaking walls of hatred, breaking uh, walls of uh, 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 tolerance, uh, breaking, uh, well, lack of tolerance, breaking walls for respecting diversity is, is all, all these are important. So personal transformation, self-transformation is very essential. And that is what I believe that uh, this uh, initiative through Peace Consortium uh, triggered by UNICEF uh, through the early childhood uh, development, uh, that is what we are trying to achieve. What, what I try to describe a little bit is a mix, ECD and peace building, in a sense that the young child becomes a priority as object of kind of services, receiving the right services, but at the same time also as a subject of rights where investing into young children means really strengthening their rights, strengthening their capacity then to grow up well, to have hope in societies, and that again also at the long term in those difficult conflict and peace situations, their rights are also restored and taken into account. The 
is that early childhood matters. Early childhood makes a difference. And potentially, this can be transformative and it can be transgenerational in its effects. I'm still waiting for the question about the issues of conflict and the rest of it. On the other hand, I am convinced that if we can, in safe places, engage parents in a discussion about how to invest and be responsive parents, how to engage the child as early as possible in pro-social activities and acceptance, how we can engage children and parents in terms of looking at the importance of, you know, we love reading, whatever it might happen to be, we can make a difference in this world, and it can be transgenerational, and if that's true, it can be transformative. History says, don't hope on this side of the grave. But then, once in a lifetime, the long for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope and history rhyme. So hope for a great sea change on the far side of revenge. Believe that a further shore is reachable from this place. Believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. And we believe in Northern Ireland that we can hold that hope uh, that for this generation of children and their parents and grandparents, the future will be a hopeful future.